Here we go guys, it's time for the first game in the Manorama National League North season and we're kicking off with a game away from home against Leamington. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video and today guys, we have got episode number two, number two already of the Kingsland save walks to the prem here on FM20 and yep guys we are finally here at the start of the season I've been playing for about six or seven hours overnight and this morning to get through pre-season and to get here to the first game of the year like I say we're against Leamington it's a team who I think we should be doing okay against We'll go and have a look at the uh, season preview in a second. But first things first, you want to see the most exciting bit, don't you? You want to see who I've brought into the club and who I've let out of the club. So let's go and have a look at that first up, yeah? So where are we? Transfers, transfer history. And as far as outs, zilts. I have let absolutely nobody out. This fellow here, Fazer Tracy, he left a club before I joined. So that's an IRL transfer. So I've not let anybody out. And I've only brought in two transfers. The first one is a guy I know a little bit about. Because he came from my club, West Ham. You can see it there over the microphone. He was in our academy. And so he's an 18-year-old Greek fella. Two star current ability, four, maybe five star potential ability. He's not brilliant or at the minute, but he should be he should be okay as a decent little backup. He's got 11 finishing, 14 first touch, 11 pace, 11 acceleration. He's five foot nine, so he's not the tallest of guys, but as a poacher, he should be okay. And yeah, let's just have a look there. Never played a game for West Ham, but I think he'll be okay down at this level. He's played in four games for us in pre-season, got himself one goal and got himself an average rating of 6.9. So he's done okay in pre-season. Not set the world alight, but not been terrible either. And now this guy is someone who's just joined us a about a week, a couple of weeks ago. It's Joshua Webb. It says he joined us a couple of weeks ago, but we had him on trial first, and we've only just signed him. And so he's a 24-year-old English uh, right back. He looks quite good, to be fair. Two and a half star current, five star potential ability, but he's running out of time to fulfil that potential. And he's got what 11 for first touch, 10 for tackling, eight for passing, eight for marking, 11 for pace. And his mentals are fairly decent for this level, I think. Composure 10, decisions 10, positioning and teamwork is the same. And where was he previously? He's been at Russell in the league below, the one Kings Lynn have just got out of last season. But before that, he's been at Kidderminster and he started off his career up at Aston Villa. So he's had a bit of a downward trajectory to his career, but you never know. This could be him starting to get on the way up again. And so that is it as far as transfers. What else do we want to have a look at? I really should have thought about this before I started the video. Let's have a look at the club vision. See how the club are happy with us so far before we've played a game. And we're at C+. Plus. To summarise, the board are satisfied with the management so far. And we have got a couple of requests uh, sorted. We've got a senior affiliate, that is Peterborough. But again, I've had a look at them, just like I had a look at Norwich in the last video. And nobody there is willing to join us. So that's two useless affiliates. So yeah, good job Kingsland, good job Bad Jokes. And a coaching course, our assistant manager. We've got a new assistant manager as well. Let's go and have a look at him. It is this fella here, Nick Blackmore. And the reason I brought him in is that the old assistant manager, can't remember his name, if you know it, let me know down below. He His ability and potential judging was one and one, I think it was. 
So yeah, he had to go. He had to go straight away, and we replaced him with Nick Blackmore. Seven and ten. Man management of seven is a bit of an upgrade on the old guy, so I'm happy with that. We've also got a few other uh, staff in. We've got two coaches in. We've brought a director of football in, and we've brought a head physio in, and a regular physio and a chief scout. Because before there wasn't any of that at the club, so it was just me and my assistant manager, pretty much. I think when the game started, so that was not ideal. So yeah, we've taken care of that. And let's get into how we've been getting on over the summer. We've played a lot of friendlies. And we've had some mixed results. We've obviously done the usual thing. Trying to get money into the club of playing big teams. As that was the case with the first friendly of the summer. We lost 3-0 to Everton. What do you expect? Tom Davies, Theo Walcott, Tossin with the goals. But then I've been mixing it up. Big teams and smaller teams just to keep the confidence up. And the confidence was really helped by this game. Adam Marriott getting himself a hat-trick in a 4-0 win versus Evesham. In a game which only had an attendance of 126. A little bit disappointing, but at least it wasn't at home. So we didn't miss out too much. And then Ilkston Town, 2-1 win there. Michael Gass and Chris Henderson out on the left getting us the second goal. Both of those goals come in either side of the half-time break. So that was another nice performance. We then got thrashed 5-1 by my boys, West Ham United. 5-1 defeat. Mark Noble, his second goal. Let's see if I can show you it. Can I click on it? No, let's see if I can do it on here. Because I want to show you his second goal because it was a thing of beauty. And here we are. It was Felipe Anderson with the ball. He crossed it out wide. And look at that for a first-time volley for Mr. Noble. Absolutely stupendous goal. So after that, we had a 0-0 draw against Middlesbrough. This was frustrating because I played it first time. We won the game 3-1. I posted on Twitter, oh, we're brilliant, we're brilliant, rah, rah, rah. We've just beaten Middlesbrough. Two seconds later, steam crashed. I had to replay the game again. But we still got a very decent result. Nil-nil against Middlesbrough. I will take that all day long. And to be honest, Middlesbrough never looked like breaking us down. So I'm very happy with that result. And then we had a 1-0 win against the shopping centre, Westfields. So, yeah, Ben Harris with a goal there. He's a guy who's looking quite decent. We had him on trial, but we decided not to go for him. So, yeah, we, we decided not to go for him, but we're doing okay as far as strikers. What with Spyrides, or however you say his name, coming into the club. And then we lost 2-1 to Wolverhampton Wanderers, and it's an own goal that cost us the game. Sorry if you can hear me phone. Did not realise that, that was still on loud. Whoops. And so, yeah, two goals there. And, yeah, very decent performance again. We didn't get thrust, so I'm happy with that. 3-0 win in the next game against Bedworth. Webb Louis Swain, who was a left-back that we was looking at, he scored the second goal. And Odyssey's Spyride getting his goal there in that game. And then, very local derby against Wisbeach. 3-0 win for us. Chris Smith, Ryan Hawkins, Adam Marriott, all within the first 18 minutes. We had absolutely no problem beating the boys from Wisbeach there. And that leads us to where we are today. First game of the season versus... Uh, versus who are we up against? It is Leamington. That's the one. I've been playing this game overnight. I'm tired. You can probably tell how tired I am. To be honest, I I, I do look quite tired, I think. And so, this is going to be the team for today's game. Let's let the assistant manager pick who's going to be on the bench. And yet, here we are. Street in goal. Fox at left back. Fryer, Smith, Jones making up the back four. Henderson, Payne, Clunan and Hawkins in the midfield. And then up top, it is Gas and Adam Marriott. 
for a team that I think should be getting us a win. I'm going to go 2-0. I'm feeling confident. 2-0 win. And just before we do get into the game, actually, let's go and have a look at the predictions. So, how do we get onto that? It's there, isn't it? And then, season preview. We are expected to finish 12th. Which, if we can do that, I'll be happy with that, to be honest. So, 12th, I'll be happy with that. And Leamington are expected to get relegated. So, that is rather nice. So, we should be feeling confident. And also, one more thing. Competitions. No, where, where, where is the board expectations now? Here we are. Top half, the board want. And the board really want that. So, maybe got our aim to finish a little higher than 12th. But, yep, yeah, that is the expectation for the league. FA Cup first round. Still not happy with that. But we'll deal with that when the FA Cup rolls around. And let's get into the game. Here we are on the match preview. Leamington are actually favourites according to the bookies. So the bookies expect us to finish higher. But they think they're favourites in a one-on-one -on -one game. Okay, that makes sense. And so let's go team selection. And let's go submit the team. Everybody's fit. Very, very nice to see. Come on. 2 0 win would be a very delightful way to start off the year. And here we are. Leamington are going with a 4 4 1 1 formation. Playing quite deep there, I think. So might be able to get at them, hopefully. And, oh, let's go dressing room. And, asked it. I've already set my assistant to do this. Okay, he doesn't want to set any opposition instructions. We'll go with his plan, but I'm not too confident on it. Let's go passionate. Come on, lads, show me what you can do. No reaction. There's a lot more to come from you. Here we go. This is all the same from last year. The old George Michael trick always works, or works most of the time there. Worked on the defence, didn't it? And so let's go start off the game. Here we go, highlight straight away as the game starts. Leamington just passing the ball back in between their keeper and their defence. Their keeper tries to go long with it and March gets onto it. And oh my gosh, what a way to start the season. 20 seconds in and we are behind to a Ronaldinho-esque goal. Oh my days. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Marx brings the ball down, beats a man and then just absolutely rockets the ball into the top corner. And maybe I shouldn't be as confident as I was. Ten minutes in, Payne with a free kick for us. And Chris Henderson gets us level with a very nice header there. Oh, I can breathe again. I can breathe again. Here we go. Let's have a look on the replay. Payne with the ball. Crossed it in. And Henderson just beat his man. The keeper not really sure what he was doing. <laughs> was never ever going to get near the ball there. And nope. He wasn't offside. And so that goal counts. Now immediately after that. Hawkins intercepts the long pass there. Plays it over the top. But Mace gets to it. Payne. Can he go back? He does. Goes to Fox at left back. He plays it long. And Marriott with the ball. Crosses it in. And gas. 2-1. What was I worried about? What was I worried about? It was just a fluke goal for Leamington. And now we are showing our class. And look at that. I know it's 12 minutes into the season. But Kings Lynn, Top of the Conference National League North. That is a beautiful thing to see. And that goal was very nice as well. Gas was never, ever going to miss that. Now, 15 minutes in. Street with the ball in our own area. He plays the ball long. Goes to Henderson, but he's unable to win the ball there. Goes to Fox. Over the top again. And now he's in, but I think he's offside. He's gone for the shot. And he wasn't offside. That would have counted if it had gone in. But it does go out for a corner ball. Which is going to be taken by the captain, Clunan. He crosses it in. Edwards heads away. 
goes to Henderson. Can he cross it in? He does, but it gets headed away. Payne with the ball. Back to Jones. And that ends that particular highlight right there. But the highlights are coming thick and fast. Absolutely no time to catch me breath here. Gas gives the ball away easy, but wins it back on the second attempt. Jones with another long ball. This is something I'm not telling the boys to do. I'll show you the tactics at half time. I'm telling them to play the ball shorter. So I'm not sure why most of the passes are long balls. But anyway, it seems to be working, so I'm not going to moan. Payne with another long ball there, wide to Hawkins. And can he cross it back? No. Jones does cross it in, no. Lane misses it there, and Marriott offside. That would have been nice. That would have been very nice. How offside was he? Yeah. Can't really argue too much with that one. And now 25 minutes in, Fox with another free kick, plays it to Marriott, goes back to Henderson with the shot, Lane heads it away, goes to Payne, and Turner Williams clears it there. And that's Dunbar on the counter for Leamington. Can we win this ball back please? It's March who scored their opening goal. He's in again, but this time Street with the save. And it goes out for a corner kick, which is taken by Carline. Headed away by Payne. Murphy crosses it in again. And that goes to precisely nobody. Mace now with the ball. In the free kick. Turner Williams clears. Jones heads away. And Dunbar heads it forward again. Or Dunbar gets it off the header, sorry. Turner Williams into Edwards. Plays it to Carline. Come on, close him down. Get the ball back. Nope. Anderson with a header, March with the second header, and that goes over the bar. Just under 40 minutes gone in the game, Payne to Fox, and he goes long again, but Marriott's beaten his man here. There's absolutely no doubt of him being offside, but there is doubt about whether he can score the goal. That is the end of a very decent first half. We've had eight shots, two there four. Four on target for us, two there, three, 58% of possession. So I'm quite happy with that. Other than that first scare in the 20 seconds when they took the lead, we've been pretty much the better team. So I'm going to go to the lads. Uh, you've played well so far, but it's still room for improvement. Let's see what that does. No reaction. So here we go. You've got a lot more. You've got a lot more. You've got a lot more. It's got a few people happy. We'll take that. 20 seconds into the second half. As the shadows are shaking. I'm hoping this stand isn't going to fall down. Seeing as how I'm in it apparently. So that would be a very premature end to this series. If I was to die in a stadium collapse. But oh well. And now Clunan to pain. I'm going to commentate while I am still alive. So Clunan. With the ball out wide, goes to Hawkins, and Hawkins beats his man, and can he square it? He tries to, but oh, we've got a penalty. We have a penalty. It's going to be Adam Marriott to take it. Can we put this game to bed here? Come on, Marriott. You are one of our best players, so please show it here. Marriott runs up, and yes, never in doubt. 3-1 to the Linnets, 3-1 to the Kings Lynn boys, 3-1 to the Kings Lynn boys. And very nice penalty, sent the keeper the wrong way, put it in the corner. Not a whole lot more to say about that particular penalty. Alright, following that penalty, we're just making a couple of changes. Adam Marriott is looking a little bit tired, so we've taken him off for the ex-West Ham man spy rides. And we've taken Aaron Jones off for the new right back, Joshua Webb. Just over five minutes left in the game. Leamington coming forward with a cross. Hawkins heads it away. Clark with the sign. Oh, oh, 3-2, 3-2. And this is looking dangerous. Everest with the throw in. Turner Williams with a brilliant cross there. Hawkins headed away. Clark took it down. One touch, two touch, bang. 
And now we're going to go, we're going to go a bit more cautious and we're going to try and see this game out as I'm going to tell the lads to tighten up as well. As now all Spy Rage is in and he, he scored. <laughs> How about that for a goal on your debut? He's only been on, what, 20 minutes? And so that is how you start life at a new club. Immediately following their goal, straight from our kickoff, Smith with the ball over the top, and Spyride with a beautiful goal there. 4 2, game over now, sorely. Three minutes left of injury time. Turner Williams with the ball goes back to lane. And is he going to play the ball in? He does. Goes to March, who did open the scoring in this crazy game. Gotcha with the shot, but never really looked like going in. Two minutes remaining of the game now. And Edwards, with the ball, goes out wide to lane. And can we close him down? No, we don't. March is in again. He's got another chance. And good stop there from Street. We have won it. Four goals to two. How about that for a first game of the season? Six goals for you. A goal in the first minute. Does not get much more exciting than that, I think. And let's have a look at the match stats. Leamington had 13 shots with 5 on target to our 11 with 6 on target. So actually ended up being quite an even game. Just we was the more clinical side. So we was able to put our chances away. Josh March getting player of the match. Joe Clark getting an 8.1 as well for Leamington. And as far as for us. Uh, anybody play very well there? 7.6 for Nathan Fox. Interesting. Me and a good friend of mine, Lee Sterling. If you're watching, mate, you said he wasn't that good. He's doing okay for me here so far, at least today. And Chris Smith getting a 7.4. Marriott getting a 7.5. Gas getting a 7.6. So quite a few good performances for us. I'm very, very happy with that performance. And now let's go and tell the lads that. And I'm going to go, well done lads, that was a good win for us. And then go in the team talk, as everybody is extremely delighted. And you know what guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, please give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content in the Walks to Prem series. There's going to be more Pro Evo content in the West Ham series on there. And Planet Zoo when that starts next week. Please do as well join the Planet 4, no Planet 4, Passion for FM Discord. That would be very, very much appreciated. We're building the Discord up and we've got some very exciting things planned for that. I'll pop an invite link in the comments down below. And follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. Give the Passion for FM Twitter page a follow as well. And yep, guys, that's just about everything. I shall see you next time. Bye.